Hello, and welcome to an overview presentation on the Epicor Parts Portal, also known as EPP, which is an integrated solution for new car dealers to facilitate their aftermarket part purchases. EPP was developed to streamline the aftermarket part purchases with full integration to the ADP repair order and purchase order system. This presentation provides you an overview of how the application works and what is provided to you for your ADP system. First, let me give you a quick background on Epicor, the company that developed this application. Epicor is a software technology company that has approximately a billion dollars in revenue, with over 4,500 employees serving customers in over 150 countries. Many different markets and industries are served by Epicor. Epicor's Automotive Group, which is part of the Retail Distribution Group, or RDG, is the team that developed this application. Epicor, through its merger with Activent and other legacy companies, have been serving the automotive aftermarket for over 40 years. Epicor is acknowledged within this market to have the premier aftermarket catalog with ePart Expert. Epicor also has the single largest aftermarket trading network of connecting buyers and sellers through its Epicor Parts Network. Epicor also serves this market with platform business solutions, workstations, and other e-commerce solutions. Epicor does over $4,200,000 each and every business day in e-commerce transactions. For your aftermarket part purchases, we can connect you to most all of your aftermarket part suppliers. The Epicor Parts Portal is a complete solution for the car dealer parts department for their aftermarket part purchases with electronic lookup and integration to the ADP repair order and purchase order system. When used, the only thing you need to do after the part is ordered is to receive the PO. EPP takes care of all the rest. Basically, what you need to do is grab the RO in EPP, look up and add parts to the shopping cart, order those parts, then EPP creates the PO, writes them back to the RO and the PO, so we do it all, which means you don't have any missing parts on ROs, or POs and there's no miskeying of data. EPP has been certified as part of the ADP 3PA program. This means it is secure and Epicor does not have access to any confidential data as all of the interface is through predefined program interface points. EPP is also a cloud-based solution so nothing has to be loaded to your system. ADP has over 100 companies participating in its 3PA program, so this is a well-supported program at ADP. EPP connects you to your aftermarket part suppliers. It's fast and efficient and allows you to grow your all makes and models business. EPP reduces keystrokes, no more waiting on hold on the phone, and you can look up parts by application and see your cost and real-time availability from your local automotive aftermarket parts supplier. Now let's take a look at a sample lookup and order for a specific RO, RO number 118703. The tech has indicated that we need to look up an alternator and rear shocks. With this vehicle, we're going to go to the aftermarket. So after logging in, the dealer's parts counterman is presented with a simple home page to enter in an RO number. In this case, RO number 118703 is entered. A quick glance verifies this is the correct vehicle. Parts can be searched many different ways within EPP. At the bottom of the home page is a list of the most popular ordered part types. Or the counterperson can look up via a more exhaustive list of part types called the quick list or looked up via the aftermarket catalog. Manual entry, search, or interchange is also supported. For this example, let's look up alternators and shocks and struts from the find parts list at the bottom of the home page. After checking those boxes, click the begin button. EPP takes the counterman to a parts list page for their primary aftermarket supplier. In this case, North Lamar store. The VIN is transferred automatically from the RO, so the parts being looked up or for that specific vehicle. In this case, select the parts desired to be purchased and add them to the cart. 
If needed, the counterperson can click on the part description if it is highlighted and underlined and the part cover to cover information is shown. This is very useful as it will typically show off all the components that make up a particular part number. And if you decide you want to look up parts from a different supplier, Use the drop down box near the upper right hand corner of the parts list page to simply click on a different supplier and check out their part availability. In this slide, Main Street Auto Parts are shown. Epicor can help get you connected to your aftermarket parts suppliers if needed. Once you add the parts to the cart, there are several important items for you on the cart summary screen. First is the RO line you want to write the parts back to when you transfer them to the RO. This is a list of all the repair lines or job lines on the RO for that specific one. Next is the description and part number of that part that is going to be ordered. Suggested list price from the part distributor and your cost are in the next columns of interest. And finally the quantity that is going to be ordered along with the location. Near the top of the screen is the information about the purchase order. EPP automatically generates a PO to insert into your PO system or you can manually enter a PO number. This next slide illustrates the drop down for the repair order line. In this example the shocks can be written to line B. If you want to provide the service advisor or technician a printout of the aftermarket parts in the cart and if you want to show them suggested list price only there's a dollar sign button that can be clicked on to toggle off the cost and show list only. The cart can then be printed for them to contact the consumer and get authorization if needed. Once the cart is set, there are four options that the counterperson can elect to do. They can order the parts electronically and invoice the parts to the RO. They can order the parts and quote the parts to the RO. They can transfer the parts to the RO as quoted parts only or they can save the cart. In this case, let's assume the service advisor needs to get authorization, so let's assume the cart is saved. By the way, the cart is automatically saved if the counterman returns to the home page or they click the Save Cart button. So now let's assume the technician gives the counterman the go-ahead and we need to order the alternator and shocks. This cart can be reloaded by clicking on the cart icon. In this slide, the cart is shown being reloaded. At this point, select Order and Invoice and click the Complete Transaction button. The system contacts the supplier system, places the order, inserts the parts into the RO and creates the PO. A message is displayed indicating everything was successful. This particular example shows results based on the ADP system running the PIC purchasing system. The Postgres SQL PO system shows a slightly different message, but it is very clear as to whether the order was successful or not. Now let's take a look at what happened on the ADP system. This slide shows that these parts were ordered and can be viewed on the RO list page. The next slide shows the PRO screen, and again it shows that the aftermarket parts have been added to both repair line A and repair line B. There's also options that Epicor provides on the part descriptions that get returned to the RO. In this case, the manufacturer code is an option that may or may not be displayed. The cost and suggested list price are shown. If you happen to be using labor code pricing to price your parts, EPP automatically inserts the parts using that pricing model. The PO screen shows everything was set up and transferred to the PO system. The goal as stated earlier is to make it where you don't have to do anything to the RO or PO except receive the PO. The RO is updated and the PO created with no manual entry, which means no costly mistakes. Finally, the repair order detail shows the aftermarket parts as they were selected and transferred to the RO. Once the order has been placed, the order icon is shown on the home screen for that RO. This can be clicked and the order information can be re retrieved and reviewed. EPP can also handle special orders within your special order system of ADP. No RO is required. You can look up parts by year, make, model, engine, or enter in a VIN to look up specific parts. 
Since there is no RO, the order information is loaded into your SOR system. If you are maintaining parts in inventory that you obtain from one of your aftermarket suppliers, you can easily create and maintain stock orders for these parts. An Excel spreadsheet can be created and uploaded, and orders can be done when you want and when you need them to be done. This is for those parts that today you may be using and managing via a spreadsheet for these vendors. Finally, if you would like additional information, please contact Epicor at the number or email listed on this slide. We are very excited about this product and very anxious to line up a call so that we can further describe its features and benefits for you and your dealership. Thanks and have a great day.